and today we are going to cover a very important topic for from the exam point of view which is going to be rotary instruments used in operative dentistry it's a little dry topic but we will make it as much as interesting as possible so the contents of today's class is going to be a brief introduction we are going to see the history how there was the evolution of the rotary instruments then we are going to see in detail the characteristics of rotary instruments which is an important short note question then we are going to see in detail about the different types of hand pieces then we are going to see about dental burrs and then finally we are going to see about abrasive instruments okay so this is be this is going to be the contents of today's class okay now going into detail what is rotary instruments the definition of rotary instruments the term rotary instruments refers to a group of instruments that rotate around an axis so basically any rotary instrument is going to rotate it is going to revolve around an axis it is going to perform any work the work can be cutting abrading burnishing finishing or polishing the tooth structure or the restoration so this is the definition of rotary instruments okay so you need not by heart the definition you just understand the class it's going to be very easy for you to write it in the exam so we are going to see now the history and the evolution how the rotary instruments evolved in detail okay so first we are going to see in the year 1869 dr uh, jonathan taft he introduced something called as bird drills okay so these were the first rotary instruments they were just twisted around the fingers and it is basically used for cutting the tooth structure okay then later in the year 1871 morrison uh, used the idea from the wheel of the uh, singer's swing machine and he used this design and he to obtain power for the rotating handpiece okay again i repeat in the year 1871 uh, morrison adopted the design from the singer's uh, sewing machine wheel okay he used the singer's sewing machine wheel as a source of power for driving the handpiece okay and in the year 1883 the electrical el electricity was used to give power to the for, for the rotating tool okay so uh, here a flexible cable arm was used okay and in the year uh, 1910 bell driven handpiece was introduced and in the year 1950 ball bearing handpiece was introduced and in the year 1953 uh, they, uh, they decided okay we have to increase the speed or the rpm to achieve a better cutting uh, efficiency so nelson introduced the first fluid turbine type of handpiece and it had an uh, uh, your rpm is nothing but your revolutions per minute so this had an rpm of around 50000 rpm okay then followed in the year 1954 the uh, air driven handpiece was developed and this had a sp greater speed so this is around 1 uh, 1 lakh 50000 rpm which had a superior cutting efficiency then they still further increase the rotation speed in the year 1957 and then it was increased to around 3 lakh rpm in the year 1960 the air bearing handpiece with the highest higher speed of around 5 lakh rpm was introduced okay then for tooth structure then they used uh, then came the introduction of ultrasonics in the year 1953 so ultrasonics the, the vibration frequency of the ultrasonic hand pieces was used which the range was around uh, 15000 to 30000 cycles per second this was used for tooth structure removal now we are going to see this very important essay question or short note question uh, in detail about the characteristics of rotary handpiece. So first one is the speed, okay? Speed, pressure, heat production, vibration, patient reaction, operator fatigue, sources of power and instrument design. So we are going to see in detail how each of these individual characteristics is going to influence the speed of rotation, okay? So the first one now what is speed okay speed is nothing but the revolutions per minute revolutions per minute or rpm or also known as the rotations per minute that is how many uh, in a minute how much time your handpiece is going to rotate i mean your bird is going to rotate in your handpiece okay so you have various classifications of handpiece so first one is uh, we will see the different classifications based upon the speed ranges okay so the first one is the 
is a classification which is given in textbook of operative dentistry by Studivant. Okay, Studivant gives you this classification. So it says low or slow speed hand pieces which have a speed of less than 12,000 rpm. Please note low or slow speed hand pieces have a speed of less than 12,000 rpm. Then coming to the medium or the intermediate speed and they have the speed range is from 12,000 to 2 lakh rpm. Then we have the high or the ultra high speed which have a speed range which is greater than around 2 lakh rpm. So, what we are currently using is the high or the ultra high hand uh, high speed hand pieces which have a speed range of greater than uh, 2 lakh rpm. There is another textbook, textbook of operative dentistry by Marzu. So, this gives you another classification depending upon the speed ranges. Okay. So, there is the ultra low speed which is around 300 to 3000 rpm. There is a low speed which is 3000 to 6000 rpm. Medium speed which falls around 20,000 to 45,000 rpm. Then we have the high speed which is around 45,000 to 1 lakh rpm. Then we have the ultra high speed which is about 1 lakh rpm or more. What we are currently using again I repeat what we are currently using for patient is the ultra high speed hand pieces which have a speed range which is greater than 1 lakh rpm and more okay so please remember this classification is from textbook of operative industry by Mars